Greetings, fellow travelers. Today, I want to remind you to dare to be different. No matter what aspect of the journey that you're on, be brave enough to be true to yourself. Now, it doesn't matter what you do uh, career-wise, lifestyle-wise, none of that. Doesn't matter. Be brave enough to make the choices that you desire to make for you to express who you believe yourself to be. And sometimes it's not a job for that. Sometimes, sometimes there's not a place in society for that. That doesn't mean it's incorrect or wrong. That means by you expressing, by you choosing, believing, and expressing yourself, your ideas, your belief, you create that space. See, there's nothing new under the sun. So even if there's not a, a proper situation or a proper environment for you to feel comfortable in the choices that you made, then maybe it's simply on us to make our own environment so we can express and create that comfort. It's simple, not always easy. But I'm here to remind you to do it. Be brave enough to be who you are. Because in doing so and finding peace in the, the way that you express yourself in life, you realize how much of a divine connection you get with your inner world, with yourself, with that divine spark of God that's within you. And the more you connect with that aspect of who you truly are, you have less of a need for validation from the external, from the outside world. It's about quality, not quantity. Being able to have that rich conversation with yourself, those rich ideas with yourself and nourish those ideas, nourish the, the place that you keep yourself in mentally. I truly feed that. There is no company in the world that gives you that opportunity. They say they will but they have rules. When you express within yourself, when you express from who you are, when you make your own individual choices and follow that line of thinking and reasoning and belief, even when you have missteps, you're still going the right way because it's your way. It's a little something different. This is not an attack on any uh, job, corporation, or or gig, or uh, whatever business we do dealings with. It's not about that. It's about trusting in who you are because that's who you're always going to be with on your journey. Truly believe in yourself. and Be brave enough to know that although I do not see something that I desire existing in the world, it doesn't mean it's not there. I haven't created it yet. That's the only difference. Well, I've created it, but it hasn't manifested in this reality yet. That's the only difference. But don't get caught up in wanting to fit in. It's not... It's not organic enough for who you truly believe yourself to be. That's my own personal perspective. No matter where you go in life, there's still a little element of you that can be more expressed. And only in doing so can we find out the things that we may want to change, the things that may be hindering us. But that takes an element of bravery. I don't care what level, it takes an element of bravery. Only those who choose to accept it will see the benefits. You can get caught up in the news. You can get caught up in the ways of the world. You get caught up in all these things. 
It's fun. But at some point, you have to return to yourself. No matter how much we want to distract ourselves, at some point, you have to return to yourself. So be brave enough to make that choice. Be brave enough to say, okay, you know what? This has been working for a certain point in my journey, but now I need a change. I don't know what that change is, but something has to happen. Be okay with knowing, okay, certain relationships and certain environments were okay, but this part for this reason and season in my life, but it's okay for me to change that. But do it with the understanding of how it has not worked for you or why it's no longer working for you. It's simple, not always easy. And I'm not telling you there's going to be sunshine and roses the whole way. No, it's not. It's about the bravery. It's about the choice. It's about understanding who you truly are. And even in doing so, you may find spots of yourself where you judge, where you over critique. It washes away. It truly does because you learn to give yourself grace along the way. And when you see others that are stuck in those uh, tornadoes of chaos and emotion or what have you that you used to be in, you can lend a helping hand. But it's not to put your hand in the tornado or the chaos to pull them out. Nah, you reach for the hands that are reaching for you. It's different. Because you understand that you had to make a choice to reach out of that chaos in order to pull yourself to a peaceful area, a peaceful place. So why reach to pull somebody out of a tornado who's not even open to the idea they're reaching outside of, but there's something different. You recognize the bravery. So you lend a helping hand. This is life. This is the journey. We see the bravery, we see the commitment, we see the love in others by expressing it ourselves. Because when we give it to ourselves, then we can truthfully see, knowing from it and knowing of it. Because we've been on both sides, we've been on the inside, we've been on the outside. can get it. Be brave. Even when it's scared, because sometimes it's going to be. But it's okay. Simply be brave. You won't regret it. Until next time, y'all be blessed. And most importantly, when you see yourself, don't forget to smile.